Welcome back everyone, Mudford here. I'm out in the shop today working on the 1969 Bronco. We took this up to Drummond Island, Michigan and did some four wheeling with it. And you can see I had a little trail repair here. I was running my Super Swamper bogger tires which are pretty wide and we got caught between some trees and had the tire binding. And when that happened, the seal popped out on the power steering gear here and fluid spewed out everywhere so for my trail fix was I got it back up in and I put a piece of rubber around it to hold it between there and the pitman arm to hold the seal in place and use zip ties to hold the rubber piece in and it worked for a few days it was leaking a little bit but not drastically so now I've ordered the kit from Jeff's Bronco Graveyard we're going to go ahead and take this apart, get the new seals in, and hopefully we'll be back up and running. I do plan on porting the box eventually, hopefully before too long, for a hydraulic assist to the steering, so hopefully I don't keep doing this. So here's what came in the kit from Bronco Graveyard. I just ordered the regular kit. I think it, hopefully it's the right one. We'll see when I get mine apart. There are actually two seals that go down there with a washer between them and then a washer on the bottom and then a snap ring holding it in and mine just popped right out. So we're gonna replace all that stuff with this stuff and hopefully it stays together and they send this o-ring with it too but that's nothing we're going to use today so here's the tools i'm using to take it apart i'm going to pull the nut off the pimpman arm pull the pimpman arm off and i think my stuff is loose enough probably won't even need snap ring pliers to take it out Pitman arm nut is off. Let's see if I can squeeze it in there with all this crap in here. Might have to take this stuff off before I can get my pitman arm puller in. Okay, I got my trail repair piece out. Hopefully you can see how it worked. This was tucked up in under the seal, wedged between the seal and the pitman arm. This egg this edge of the rubber was tucked up all the way around next to the seal of the washer, the snap ring up there kind of holding it in place and then it was wrapped around and I had a bunch of zip ties holding this on. Not sure how much you can see but the snap ring and the first washer fell right out as soon as I took my trail repair piece out. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull the pitman arm right off and put my new seal kit up in there. Got my pitman arm removal tool on. I had to push that washer up out of the way right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this sucker off. Okay, the pitman arm's off. The first washer and the snap ring popped off. Now we need to grab those seals and get them out. The first thing I'm gonna do is double check these for size compared to the ones that came in my kit to make sure I got the right ones. Here's the comparison on the washers. This is the one that came with the kit. Seems to be the same. A big difference I'm seeing in the snap rings is actually good. So this is the old one that will not stay in. See how much smaller it's, it appears. So that means to compress this one to fit into there, it's gonna have a lot more spring force pushing out, holding it in. So I think that's a good thing. Hopefully this will work. It's kind of a pain to get up in there and get those seals 
out. So what I'm going to do is start up the Bronco and use the power steering pressure to try to pop them out. It should work pretty quickly because that's exactly what happened to me when I was Using the power steering to pop the seals out did the trick perfectly. There's the two seals in the washer that was between them. What I did was I just stacked my washers and seals the way they came out. With this seal being on the outside with the double lip washer and then the single lip seal on the inside and then another washer on the outside. It would be nice to have a seal driver to put it up in there. But what I did was just with the outer washer on, I just used a screwdriver and tapped it in a few different spots around and work the seals all the way up in and then now I think I'm really close to where the lip is for the snap ring so I'm going to go ahead and get the snap ring up in there started and then I will tap it the rest of the way with the snap ring on and then it should pop right into place. Got the snap ring started with the washer under it there. Hopefully I can get it to pop in the rest of the way now. I'm going to have to set the camera down to do that. I don't have a good way to hold it. so I just put the screwdriver on it and tapped it a couple times with the hammer. And it popped right in. And this snap ring appears to be a lot tighter than the other one. So hopefully it doesn't pop out. I went ahead and used my impact and put the nut back on and pulled the pitman arm back up on. I will say that if you use the power steering to pop the seals out, it is a pain trying to get the steering wheel turned the correct direction to line up with the pitman arm because the pitman arm only will go on the shaft here one way so you need to get it lined up perfectly which may take a little bit of trial and error the best way I have found to bleed the power steering is to turn the wheels all the way to full stop and shut it off let it set for 10 or 15 minutes start it back up turn it to full stop the other way let it set for for a few minutes and usually that gets all the arrow. I did get it a little bit full. Hopefully as it bleeds out it'll go down close to where it should be. Okay everything seems to be good now. Now I'm going to go for a road test. I can't emphasize enough whenever you do any repair make sure you do a road test before you consider it done.